Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. I am Tyken, and today I'll be showing you how to build your own monster trap. Uh, uh, I know you guys have been waiting for this ever since I first found this dungeon. And as you can see, I haven't really done much. Uh, I've put the wall up with a door, two chests, and a maker's bench. Uh, I apologize in advance for uh, skipping ahead a bit. It's just... Uh, this video is already much longer than I intended it to be. In fact, it still is pretty long, but I can't really cut any more without compromising the video, so... Let's go ahead and just start here. I left these uh, around the spawner to stop the skeletons from spawning while I did this, but I decided to just switch it on peaceful mode, so we'll probably get rid of these. Uh, also, I'm sorry if you don't like peaceful mode, it's just much easier to build, especially a monster trap with uh, it being on peaceful mode. So we can go ahead and get rid of all these. Also, as you can see, I went ahead and dug out more. I like to get as much done as possible before I start making a video, since I doubt you guys just want to see me dig all the time. So we'll go ahead and light this up a bit. And um, as you can see, it's uh, three blocks deep under the monster spawner and uh, two out from it. So it's a uh, five by five hole, three deep. So uh, I also tried digging in here a little more and getting more of it done before I started, but I fell into a natural cave system under the dungeon and they had skeletons waiting there to kill me. So after a couple of times of dying, I uh, decided to just fill it up and try again with a different video. But uh, Okay, where are we going to start? Let's see. Go ahead and uh, start digging this out. This is going to be where our trap is going to filter down into, like uh, all the water, all the monsters are going to pour down into. So we're going to have to dig all this out. Luckily, I brought a few picks. Hopefully, it should just be enough to finish this job. Oh, yes, I also apologize for the Samus helmet HUD display. It's that pumpkin helmet. I know a lot of you have been complaining recently, and I already filmed this video uh, before people started complaining. Plus, I just completely forgot to take it off because someone actually complained before that. And while I like it, I if my fans don't like it, I guess I'm just going to take it off next video. But it shouldn't be a huge problem. Like I said, I liked it, but my viewers say it was distracting. Well, my some of my viewers, some of them say it was cool, some just don't like it, but I get more complaints than compliments, so I'm just going to take it off in my next videos. But besides that, as you can see over there, that's where I uh, actually fell in before, and I tried to make steps up to the hole I fell through, but uh, apparently when you get hit by skeleton arrows, it throws you off really wasn't fun to do at all. So anyway, we're going to close that off. Start digging out this cavern system so we can so we have space to build and uh, finish this thing. Uh, also, I'm not sure if you actually need glass to do this. I mean, I'm sure you could do it without it, but I know when water hits glass, it has like a suction effect where it actually pulls you down stronger than it would normally against normal blocks. So... I'm not entirely sure if you actually need it or not, but it wouldn't hurt to use it regardless, because it's just generally good for this project. Plus, you can see it working. But also, I think this is down a little deeper than I would prefer, so I'm going to probably start filling it in. Oh, hey, iron. Can I probably get that real quick? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that now before I forget or start building, because uh, it's right in the way of where I'm going to build. Wow, it's a nice... Well, I was going to word that poorly, so I'm just going to shut up right now. Still, six six iron, that's a lot for a small vein. Probably going to fill this in. Yeah, get all this. And now we're just going to dig back down. Uh, also, I actually... I'm actually doing a commentary like after I recorded this video. So if it seems a little off, that may be why. Um... I got fed up with fraps messing up the audio of my 
videos so I decided to just record a video without audio at all and well while I recorded it with a, an audio recording program so I had a video and audio program recording me at the same time unfortunately I've seemed to have lost the audio file that I recorded for it so my bad so hopefully that shouldn't mess things up too much but let's go ahead and uh, make a water spring I'm sure many if not all of you know how to make an infinite water spring by now it's pretty common knowledge <clears throat> Okay, up here is where we're going to probably start digging our trench, where we're going to fill with water. Yeah, we're going to dig through here, and this little space, you need five squares across all along that back wall. You're going to fill that with water, and what we'll do is it'll come down, and any monster that falls into the water will be pushed over the edge right here. So, should be showing you how to do that uh, in a little bit but we still need to do other things first. I do believe we need to make a couple of... No, 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 I think we'll do that later. First of all, we need to get down there and finish... Well, first of all, we need to put the glass. But uh, we need to get down there and finish the uh, collection room, too. But let's go ahead and just put all this nice glass right here. Like I said, I'm not sure if the glass is 100% necessary or not but it doesn't hurt to have it anyway plus it doesn't require a lot of glass and it'll also allows you to see inside of your monster trap to see it actually working plus you can laugh at the skeletons as they try to get you or any monster in whatever case uh... once you find a skeleton uh... dungeon though you don't really need a dungeon for anything else a uh, monster trap for anything else Considering zombies get feathers, which the only thing they're used for is, of course, making arrows. And spider traps are a little harder to make, so besides, you don't need tons of string. Once you get, like, a stack, you're good. So you'd probably just stay there. And Actually, if I ever do find a spider trap, I'll show you how to uh, farm the string rather easily. But we're going to go ahead and fill this in a bit more, considering we don't need it this low. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have it low. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have it this low, but I just... I don't know. I just like to have it as small as possible. Smaller means less possible complications. Let's see. We'll go ahead and dig out all the stone so you can actually see through the glass and make it look nice. Okay... I think, yeah, this is going well. I think that should be as high as I need it. It's hard to tell from this angle. If worse comes to worse, we can always dig up a block if we need to. But I think this is good, yeah. Okay, that should be good for now, and then we can get rid of this a little bit. We're also going to have to dig out a lot more of this. Monster traps are actually pretty easy to make, or at least the ones with the spawners. The larger scale ones, which I will be making one of those eventually, much harder to do, much more rewarding though since you get gunpowder, plus you get tons more items.